Right, so going out on another adventure, geocaching today. I found a little cluster and about 20 geocaches in half a mile radius. It's about a five mile bike ride, so um, we've got a nice little trip to go there. I've got my bag. Yeah, it's not the house. And I've got my, my trusty steed. And yeah, so see you when we get there. Yo, so I'm starting this uh, geocache cluster. I'm starting at number 13 because it's probably the best uh, the best location to circle back to because it's in like a figure of eight and it finishes where you start pretty much. So yeah, let's see where it is. We've actually found our first one, which is around here. The log looks a little bit wet though. So I might might drop a new log in there. So in my bag I always carry some uh, spare logs for the, the guys that are, have them sort of logs in. So help out a little bit. So I've got a feeling the uh, this is deep noise. The cash is gonna be down at the end of this alley. It's, like a, it's really nice and peaceful around here actually. I think I've been here once when I was about 13. I think I got too scared. I might get lost so I went back. Yeah, it's lovely. So I think I've went past it. So I've dropped my bike off in the field. Uh, I went on my GPS and it's like having a moment so the hint is between two styles, but not through the garden gate. That was a style, and this was a style. I did see a garden gate, so maybe it's down here. So I never actually walked past that one. The, the clue was a bit odd. So we walked over two styles and loads of garden gates, and it's actually in that log that's on the side of the field. Class. So uh, let's sign that bad boy and get on with it. A tiny little container for a huge log. Clash. I think the next one's at that tree over there. That's a badass looking tree, man. <laughs> that isn't the tree that we're looking for. And I've codged this up proper bad. So I went to 13, 12. I was going to 11, but now I'm like, 0.1 mile away from 15 so I don't know what I've done oh well go down the circle anyway so I'm struggling struggling to find this bad boy clue is middle post grass question mark there's posts there there's posts there or hang on would it be in the middle of the posts in the grass or is that just stupid? I don't know. This is the sneakiest geocache I've ever found. I haven't found many. Obviously, people have seen madder stuff than that. Try and find that in a field. Yeah? Git. That was class. That took me ages to find, like, a good 40 minutes. I wasn't giving up. Ah! Jesus! No! Mother! If I hit a cash like that, I'd put it bang in the middle of the field so no one could ever find it. That was class, I'd like that one. That's getting a favourite favorite point. Ooh. I'm having a problem with my sat nav at the minute. Well, my iPhone GPS thing. It keeps telling me I'm in Chorley. That's like 30 miles away. I ain't nowhere near that. So I'm going rogue. I, I know what geocache I'm looking for. I sort of know by the satellite there was two trees there, which there are two trees there. And it should be here in an elder bush. So let's go and have a look. So surprisingly, for my skills at geocaching, I found this one really fast. There was loads of cool hiding places to put that as well. So there's like crevices in the trees and stuff. So you could put it there, but no. That's a that's a pretty sick one. You need to put some effort into this, I like this. You're a class cacher, bro. Class clash. 
trying to say. You know what I mean? I've heard of clown cars, but I've never seen a sheep car. Ooh. So the clue to the next one was through the hedge. There is a gap in the hedge, and if I have to get in ah! here, but ah, Jesus Christ! Very blasphemy, aren't I? Ah! Get off your crazy stick! Right. I've no clue what I'm looking for here. Who knows with this person? Who knows? Right. Let's have a, let's, let's have a look. The bloody sat navs, phone, GPS things, having moments again. Sent me 20 foot over that way, bloody 34 foot that way, and then he fell in the bloody brook. So I found it eventually. What's this on his face? That's a pretty snazzy one. Ooh, what's inside? That was so homosexual. Ooh, check. Ooh, panda stickers. Oh, there's always. Oh, we have a panda sticker. Oh, there's a little shamrock from Ireland. I very much dislike these ones because it's in a hedge. But it could be a mile that way on that side of the edge. But it could be half a mile on this side of the bloody edge. There's no way through these bloody edges because they're huge. Get away, muggle. Get away. Again, going rogue. Phone's gone a bit psycho, I don't think it's talking to me anymore. So, I'm gonna have to try and figure this one out. Sort of know the location, we're definitely this side of the fence, the hedge thing. It's halfway up, then we've got to go straight up to start there. But... Oh, look at the hair, man. Windswept and interesting. Well, I like it. Well, it didn't really matter what side of the fence I was on, there's a gap. So, it's around here somewhere, I suppose. I go on a field geocaching adventure and I choose shorts to go in. Look at the pretty terrain. Am I mental? It's going to be around here somewhere. So, I had a little look at the clue because I'm crap and I've been here for like 10 minutes now. It says it's on the left in the gap in the hedge but if I come in this way left that side if I go in that side left that side so all right so I've looked in the the activity it's still here apparently and everyone has said I found this really fun and I've been here 20 minutes so 40 minutes looking for this swimming in a sea of nettles 12 foot away from it because my sat nav's a joke i keep calling my sat nav and that's really annoying me i'm stung so much. look at the injuries that i've got from there that was so easy as well so easy never mind got it almost the next one jesus christ the miles There's not many more I'm going to do now, I think there's like the last couple and uh, I'm going to head home and go some sleep. Because I was at the wrong bloody tree. So I found this one. It's one of these fake rock caches. Nice one. Ooh. I don't know who's been dishing out the balloons today. I found them in quite a quite a few caches. Yes, that one's a, a really nice one to finish off. I've never seen uh, any of these before. I don't know how do you put it back on? Not really good. Yeah, so that's nice. 
all right thank you all for watching if you enjoyed it like and subscribe i think i'll leave a little button somewhere to do that or check out some of my other videos uh, please leave comments on what you like and what you dislike and i'll try and please everyone yeah so thanks for coming along with me and uh in a biz